98% of all businesses want stronger security and all want to ease users' burden. But what are users' burden in cybersecurity? Well, mostly the logins users have to make. We distinguish between two types of login, the endpoint access and access to everything else. Because we propose that endpoint access give access to everything else. It means users' burden for everything else, 100% for on online authentication will be eliminated. No user action is required for them. Wouldn't this solve this burden problem very well? beyond everybody expectation. So I guess the question is, that can endpoint access give access to everything else securely with no use action? Well, that is the title of this slide. For that, we need new ways of thinking. But actually, endpoint access give access to application is not a new way of thinking. So you have here the endpoint. Once you log in the endpoint through the boot authentication, ideally with MFA and Windows login with MFA, you have access to application on the endpoint without user action, without authentication. So that is not completely new. But we know today most application and services are on the cloud and on, on the network. So it's, this endpoint application idea no longer apply. Let's discuss the services on the cloud. The industry solution for these services is federated authentication. The idea is the IDP, the, IDP, the identity provider server taking care of all authentication so that the application don't have to do that and the user only have to authenticate, authenticate to the IDP. But still, it still costs burdens. WinMagic tried to solve that problem without use action. How can we do that? You can see we have the endpoint and we have the server. So we create Magic Endpoint Center to coordinate the two. And we say the endpoint duty is first off, to authenticate the user. That's what the endpoint has been doing since it's ever existed. Best, better than anybody else, than the server and everybody else. So endpoint verify the user accessing it. But now because we talk about the, the, the cloud application and services, so the endpoint had to prove to the IDP that the endpoint is authentic but also ideally the user is authentic in real time. So for that, we use a TPM, which can provide a key unique for this endpoint. And that TPM can actually serve server user on it. And for each user, it have a different key, which won't exist even on the TPM until the user look in the endpoint. So this entity of user and device is unique not only no entity, no other device has that key, but this TPM doesn't even have that key before the user log in. And if, when the user log out, this key disappear. And so with just one FIDO authentication, the IDP will know that the user and device are authentic and in real time. So we call it this device and user bound pass key. So equipped with this FIDO key or pass key, the endpoint form a persistent connection to the IDP and using this protocol to make sure that anytime the connection exists, the user and the device are authentic. Of course, the device will inform the IDP about own security, security posture of the endpoint because and the endpoint knows everything about it. The history about whether it's patched, whether it's encrypted, own security posture. Note that the endpoint not only know that, it know that the, the user presence, if the user look off, if the user left the machine so that the screen lock is on. And most importantly, the endpoint know even the user intent. If the user access, you know, the VPN or Office 365, the endpoint is the first one to know it. And so the IDP knows very well the endpoint. The IDP actually can even control the endpoint access. It can be informed that the, end, the endpoint has been stolen. So it could tell the endpoint to lock out the user because it's most likely the attacker. So in any case, 
by having the persistent connection, the endpoint can inform the RDP in an event-driven way without polling. And that allows the RDP to know everything. And because RDP knows everything about the endpoint, including the user, one, when the application provider wants to ask to verify, the RDP can respond without user action. So the idea is again very clear. You should use MFA to access the endpoint. But after that, nothing is no longer needed because the endpoint has a TPM which can perform own authentication to the IDP and to all service provider without use action. So you will ask, can it really work? It is so incredible, right? Well, we did not invent everything, but we take, we believe the industry best idea, we, we add our innovation to it. The industry, in the industry best idea are of course, FIDO, as you all know, but beyond FIDO, we declare or we propose to have this entity, FIDO user and device, about Basque. So with this, we actively prove that the authentic user is using the authentic endpoint in real time. We use the endpoint, we use non-copyable unshare key to, for this, and because you use unshare single device key, the various layer within FIDO protocol can apply to it. So it have a very strong additional layer of security to it. Yeah. It can be also future-proof as a TPM will become future-proof with quantum safe technology and so on in the future. Beyond FIDO, we also know that zero trust is the best idea in this idea, in the solutions. But unlike the, the word continuous verification, we use event-driven verification because, well, we trust the endpoint. We trust the endpoint to be able to give event-driven updates and we trust the endpoint because we protect the endpoint with full description, with integrity check, no manipulation of the code and so on. So that with trusting the endpoint, we can perform unbelievable solution. Furthermore, federation, federated authentication like SAMBO and OIDC on this protocol are very important for authentication. But we find that the current protocol is not very endpoint focused and is not very event driven focused. So by adding these two idea, we can make it really, really very secure and completely you know, easy for users with no use action. So to recap, we propose that users use MFA to unlock the endpoint, but then for all services and application, there's no more action, there's no more password reset, no burden because endpoint access give access to everything else securely. So with this solution in mind, we believe that Magic Endpoint offers the most secure solution on the market today because it's used FIDO2 and continuously and with the best possible user experience, because what else can be better than no user action? Let's recap. We propose the FIDO entity. What does the FIDO key represent? Is it the user or the device? In our case, the user and the endpoint combination in real time. This entity concept for us provide a better layer of security and it can even help the SIMPAS key to be more secure as well. Using this concept and more, we provide a FIDO token with the endpoint or with the phone, which we believe that can satisfy the NIST and the bank requirement of strong customer authentication of unshare key. But most important of all, we believe that Magic Endpoint provide enterprises the most secure, zero trust, satisfying solution with no user action. So let us help you make sure that capable endpoint can free your user from all online authentication. WinMagic.com. Thank you.